Early voting in Minnesota's March 3rd primary has been underway for more than a week and by all accounts is going smoothly. But what voters don't see when they go to the polls is an ongoing debate over the privacy of your personal information. Esme Murphy has tonight's talking points. It's Minnesota's first presidential primary in decades. Turnout is expected to be much higher than under the old caucus system. And presidential candidates from the president himself to Democrats like Mike Bloomberg, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren are campaigning here on the home turf of Senator Amy Klobuchar. But with the new primary comes a new voting procedure, and that is creating a major controversy. In this primary, you will have to tell election officials whether you're voting in the Republican or the DFL primary, whether you vote in person or absentee. The state's four parties, the DFL, the GOP, and the two marijuana parties, will then be given your information. The DFL party chair wants the legislature to pass a law when the session begins next month that would put strong limitations on what the parties could do with that information. But the Republican party chair says that law isn't necessary and could suppress voter turnout. Both party chairs were guests on WCCO Sunday morning. It wouldn't change anything for the voter right now. The only thing this uh, new proposal would do would change what actually happens with the data after the primary election has already occurred. There are restrictions in place on our side at the Republican Party of Minnesota. We have protocols, processes, and legal contracts that restrict our use of the primary data to just our party for party building, grassroots development, and towards the election in 2020. Minnesota's Secretary of State Steve Simon is expected to introduce legislation next month that would limit what parties can do with your information, which includes not just your party choice, but your name, your address, and your date of birth. Without some Republican support, it will be impossible for that bill to pass in the legislature. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News.